Reba McIntyre has been thinking a lot recently about where she grew up. Lots of great memories. Sometimes I wonder what it would have been like if I hadn't left. This massive star who left to travel all over the world grew up near the small town of Atoka, Oklahoma. You grew up on a ranch about 15 miles out of town, yeah. and, and you would come into Atoka. Atoka was the big town where you got your dry cleaning, and groceries, and banking. It's also where Reba competed in her first rodeo, where she took her little sister Susie to the movies. We got there and we realized we didn't have any money. So we took the back seat out of Mama's car and we found enough change to get in, get some popcorn, get us a drink. Wow. How about that? You were resourceful even at a young age. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in 2020, when Reba came home to visit, the once bustling Main Street was a ghost town. Factories closed, businesses shuttered. Nearly one in three living in poverty. Young people moving away. Atoka was hurting. Reba was too. Her mom was dying. I slept with her. I'd, we'd cuddle and I said, what am I going to do when you leave? She said, oh, you'll be fine. Because <laughs> she's always been my rock. After her mom died, Reba wanted to do something to honor her. Maybe create a place for music and her mom's collection of books. She shared her dream with a family friend. And I looked at her and I said, we have a plan. Thing is, Carol Irvin is more than just a family friend. She's also Atoka's economic development director. For years, she'd been fighting an uphill battle to save her beloved town, trying to get new businesses to give Atoka a try. But none of them bit. They said, you've got to clean up your town. We need a place where our people want to live, and it's not Atoka. Carol realized Reba's dream could be just what Atoka needed. The town had been working on a dream of its own to turn one of its oldest buildings into a Reba-themed restaurant. They just needed Reba to say yes. What was the initial response? You gotta be crazy. <laughs> I said, absolutely not. I don't know anything about the restaurant business. I'm not that good a cook anyway. <laughs> That's where this guy came in. I knew Reba growing up. My uncle actually worked for her at one time. Gary Batten is chief of the Choctaw Nation. His modest manner belies the economic might of his tribe. This is our roadmap. The tribe has invested hundreds of millions of dollars in Oklahoma businesses and created thousands of jobs. And as it turns out, Atoka is in the Choctaw Reservation. Through the years, I mean, we have helped with water lines. We've helped with streets. Why is it so important for the Choctaw Nation to provide so much support, even for non-tribal members? Because if they don't do well, we don't do well. The chief agreed to split the cost of the renovation, and Reba was in. She didn't waver, even after the stairs collapsed while she was visiting the building. We were hollering out the windows, and I said, how are we going to get down? They said, oh, don't worry, we're going to call the fire department. Reba's place opened for business earlier this year. Right away, Atoka got what it so desperately needed, visitors. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate it. As many as 60,000 came to Reba's in the first five months. Reba gave us our own tour. I picked out the plates. You picked out the plates? Yeah. You really were quite involved. Yeah. Okay, so here is our merchandise floor and memorabilia everywhere, like I told you. And tucked into a room on the third floor, you can find her mother's books. She was quite the prolific reader. Mm hmm I could even tell you which room some of these books were in in her house. Yeah. She's smiling on us for sure, though. Yeah. But the thing Reba is really proud of... The restaurant has created more than 130 brand new jobs. There are kids working here that some of them never worked in a restaurant before. So they're learning and they're learning a trade, a craft, and that's very important. And their wages are giving a boost to other businesses in town. People are getting their cars fixed. They're buying more groceries. They're getting their nails done. And it's led to a lot more businesses opening. Even bigger ones are on the way. This one-time town of ranchers and cowboys 
will soon be home to a multi-million dollar Bitcoin data center and a 120-room hotel. Carroll projects it will add up to a $20 million bonanza for the local economy this year. Chief Batten says the Choctaw Nation plans to invest their share of profits back into community services for the tribe. What's the tribal motto again? Together we're more. It kind of seems like that's what you guys have sort of achieved here as well. Folks who are watching this, who've heard about how Ariba McIntyre's helped save her tiny town, what do you want them to take away from this story? Well, I want them to take away that Ariba was a small part of a great story, a successful story, one that's still growing, one that's still thriving, and one that's talked about all over the state of Oklahoma. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.